You can make your own planks and boards by first cutting a cant and then slicing it up into the dimensions you desire. Start by placing the log on a suitable bed, so you get a good working position when you're sawing. When making the first cuts, you can take the help of two straight boards. Use the screws and brackets that come in the package to screw the boards together so they form a rigid and straight guide rail. Also, the supports that will hold the guide rail are made of wood. Everything is clearly described in the user manual. To make the first cut, the wooden guide rail and the angles are screwed to the log. Use a spirit level when screwing the angles to the log ends. Fasten the guide rail to the angles with two C-clamps. Firmly tighten them so the guide rail does not slip out when you're sawing. The clamps make it easy to adjust the height of the guide rail. The cut will come about one centimeter over the edge of the guide rail. The timber jig is adapted for most types of chainsaws that have two bar bolts. Hold far down on the chainsaw handle and the guide bar will cut easily through the log. When the first cut is made, the guide rail and the supports are removed from the log. Then you place the guide rail on the sawn surface and adjust it for the next cut. Screw it directly to the log or use the supports. Turn the log into position and take the second cut. There are many advantages in cutting up the boards where you felled the tree. You are spared from heavy transports and you can easily take the sawn timber with you. Sawdust and wood debris can be left in the woods. With two right angled sides, you only need the timber jig for the next cut. Set the dimension plate to the thickness you want to have on the cant. Here it is set to six inches. The boards that are cut after this will then be six inches wide. The timber jig has both a millimeter and an inch scale. The timber jig guides itself through the entire log. Make sure that there is free space for the bar nose when you're sawing. After three cuts, the cant is finished, and it is time to start slicing up the log. Secure the log for better stability. This log will be cut into one inch thick boards, but you could as well cut thinner boards or thick planks of large dimensions. Making boards from the log is quickly done. 
keep an even pressure on the chainsaw handle in order to make a straight and fine cut. If you start with a timber jig, you can later upgrade your equipment to a big mill basic with a guide rail of aluminium and adjustable rail supports of steel. You can have the equipment that suits your specific sawing requirements. Watch out for the screws of the support board when taking the last cut. 